Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at the market leading ETFs via our proprietary scans for the coming week. This is going to be for the holiday shortened week of Tuesday, March 27, 2014. We had a pretty strong day across the board here uh, with uh, I think what you, what you could call uh, just kind of a kind of a walk up, uh, kind of an absence of uh, of offers if you will. Left us with a fair amount of upside CPS conditions in our broad-based ETFs. We've got an upside CPS that's a continuation pressure signal, and the spiders, the Qs, and the diamonds. Those are the big three. And we also got one in the uh, small caps, the IWM. IWM traded okay volume, but uh, the spiders, the Qs, and the diamonds on the pre-holiday here were trading uh, some some pretty light volume. But nonetheless, a pretty solid day here, at least across the uh, across the majors. Drilling down to the uh, to the individual sectors, uh, we, you can see that the bias carries through here. There's a fair amount of upside CPS conditions. We've got a couple cells. We got one one RPS and the KRE. Usually with the RPS, we also like to see a volume bump. We do not have that. We saw less than half of the typical volume trading. The XLE, we have a downside CPS. That is uh, that is a legitimate signal. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that for uh, for the coming week. Uh, we don't really have any uh, any big deviations that are jumping out here. Um, the TAM was pretty strong. That tracks the uh, the solar stocks with an upside CPS that was one and a half percent above the day's open and one percent above the day's VWAP. Also, the XHB home builders were kind of strong today, so this this kind of kind of parlays into that a little bit. They were uh, pretty strong today, one and a half percent above the uh, day's open. And that one traded some pretty good volume today relative to its peers. Moving on to the commodity patch. This one's also definitely biased to the buy side here. We have an upside CPS in the USO and also the uh, the broad-based DBC. The GDX and the DBA, while they were kind of sloppy on the day, did post RPS signals. As far as the bonds go, uh, we had a, with a downside uh, contra candle form on the, uh, on the LQD, but... Uh, wasn't you know very decisively below the day's open, so considering that with the uh, low volume, we could definitely uh, just put that kind of on the margin for maybe something to watch, but maybe something we're not going to commit to right away next week. Moving on to the foreign names, uh, definitely bias to the buy side again here. Upside CPS condition in the EFA and also the EWG. The EWU has a contra candle to the upside. But that one's offset with the CPS, so that one's going out conflicted on the buy and sell side. So we're just going to kind of kind of watch that one develop next week. EWT traded some pretty good volume, but really didn't uh, didn't make a move away from the open or the VWAP, unfortunately. And finally, here's a look at the specials. The specials are the uh, leveraged ETFs. Definitely biased to the upside here. Uh, there's not a lot to the downside. Uh, a couple signals here and there, but we're definitely biased to the upside. The UYG, the FAS on down the list here. Definitely biased to the upside. The only problem is that most of them are on fairly light volume. UYG had pretty good volume, so I would definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, pretty big uh, open-close deviation in the TNA, which uh, follows the small caps, so we, we could fo follow through with that next week, so keep an eye on those. Not really seeing too much else here as far as deviations. TWM did have a downside deviation here on an open closed basis, but just barely qualified for that. Let's move on and take a look at the uh, sector watch list and see what it has to say. And finally, here's the uh, here's the watch list. You can see that uh, don't have a lot of countdowns in play here, uh, especially on the majors. We've got clear sailing. As far as the setups go, we're only a couple days up in our one through nine bar runs to the upside here. So we've got some clear sailing here if they uh, want to try, try and take this higher again next week. Drilling down to the individual subsectors, um, not a lot that's deep in the count here. The IYR is, is uh, 10 bars up in the comer, so that could definitely uh, definitely set up next week. And, and uh, 11 bars up here in the aggressive seeker, so that could set up as well. The OIH is uh, 12 bars up on the uh, st standard comer. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, I'm sorry, the standard seeker. So keep an eye on that next week. If that records that 13, um, that's going to be uh, very notable, and uh, especially since it's a it's a it's a late cycle sector, could uh, could be important for the overall market as well. So keep your eyes on that one. That's the OIH with the uh, with the seeker. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.